You guys know I wasn't going to leave you with a fantasy matchup this week. Even, well, actually to be quite honest, I got bored extremely fast, so I decided to make another video, and hopefully this fucking video, the whole fucking video comes up. You know, because, and this is, and this is the only reason I stopped using the YouTube video uploader, is because it, was, it wasn't putting up, like, my full videos. Like, I, I talked for like eight minutes and five minutes would come up, I hated that. So I had to go through other means, but, anyway. I'm gonna do a fantasy matchup. This one is a pure, all the way inside fight. Iron Mike Tyson versus Smoking Joe Frazier. You know, this is you know this one I was suggested by a few people when I was gone. So I thought you know I thought this would be a good way to come back um, to YouTube, or come back to the box community with this one fantasy matchup. Iron Mike versus Smoking Joe. Both fighters, you know, were really good at throwing um, hooks. Though Mike Tyson threw his hook, you know, much, you know, a little more crisp, Joe Frazier threw his hook wide, but Joe, Joe Frazier knew how to land his hook. Throwing, you know, you know, throwing it, even though he threw it wide, he knew how to land it. And when he landed it, you know, um, he had, it had its effect. You know, um, but Joe Frazier did a very good job of coming, of coming in and landing, you know, the the right hook compared to Tyson, who would come on the inside and counter you with a few hooks at a time. You know, so this fight, you know, this this fight is actually a little hard to call because you got two fighters that come forward. You know, Tyson comes forward. You know, um, and this is a, a young Tyson comes forward. He slips shots and comes up from underneath the shots and counters you with combinations. You know hooks that you don't see sometimes. You know this is before Tyson became you know kind of that headhunter and went for that one punch KO. This is when Tyson was a little more fundamentally sound. You know um, Frazier, you know, came forward, he bobbed and weaved, and you know he you know landed shots. You know he dig into the body, dig into the head. You know um, Frazier was more of a come inside and punch compared to Tyson, who was a come inside count. You know counter. You know and punch. You know, or slip, or slip the shot and punch, kind of like a, you know, with that peekaboo style, like what Floyd Patterson had. Floyd Patterson, one of my favorite, one of my favorite all-time heavyweights, though he didn't necessarily have that good, that unique of a chin. You know, he was still you know, one of my favorites. But off of Floyd Patterson, you know, um, in a fight like this, this is an all pure inside fight. You know, there's no. Neither one of them are going to get each other on the ropes unless, you know, one of them, you know, can counter and make the other back up. This is a fight to where where it's like whose will is big better, you know, whose heart is bigger. It's like uh, my will is better than yours, my heart is better than yours, my power is stronger than yours, you know, tight fight. This is one of those matchups you touch glove, touch up gloves, center of the ring, you know, both fighters are you know, leaning on each other. And you know, getting the shots in on the inside, but you know, um, Tyson, I see in a fight like this, would be more more the inside fight. He, I think he land the more accurate shots on the inside. But Joe Frazier, I see Joe Frazier landing, you know, some good shots to the body, land some good shots to the head, mixing the shots up compared to Tyson. Tyson was Tyson, you know, um, with Mike Tyson, he did land with a lot of good shots clean shots to the head, you know, in his prime, you know, um, you know, just from coming inside. And um, Frazier did a very good job of jumping in and getting his shots, you know, getting his shots off. So, um, in a fight like this, which, where it's going to be more of a, a brawl, more of a slugfest than a boxing match, you have to wonder who has the better power, you know, who's stronger, you know. This isn't really. This isn't much of a technique fight. This is a bloodbath. This is a brawl. This is a slugfest. You know, um, though Joe Frazier did a good job of of using his right jab at times. Mike Tyson, though he let in with hooks, was able to get his hooks off very quickly. He had good hand speed. He was very strong as well. But Frazier was strong. I think that Mike Tyson does have the advantage in the hand speed department. And I think, and honestly, I think Frazier, Frazier may 
It may have um, a little more power than Tyson. But to be quite honest, in a fight like this where you have two fighters who come forward and don't back up, it's like the fighter who takes the back step is the fighter in trouble. The fighter who the fighter who could come forward and land more shots, you know, is the guy that's in control. Who's in control in a matchup like this? Honestly, in a fight like this, where two fighters are going to be landing their shots on the inside, I'm going to go with Iron Mike Tyson. Even even though, you know, you got two different eras involved, you know, the 15 round, 12 round era, I want to go with Iron Mike Tyson in this fight. I want to go with Iron Mike Tyson by by probably a knockout in the 11th round. I will go with Tyson because I think that Tyson will get to that point where he can overwhelm you know, um, Frazier with um, a lot of shots. You know, a lot of shots on the inside. If Tyson could land shots on the inside, you know, and, and counter and come come under um, Joe Frazier and and you know put and turn his punches over well, you know, he, he could knock him out. Though um, Tyson was knocking people out, you know, in the early rounds early in his career, I think that he was fundamentally sound enough to pull off of a victory against Joe Frazier. You know, a prime Joe Frazier. So I'm going to go with Iron Mike Tyson by knockout in the 11th round in this fantasy matchup. Um, but anyway, that was the distance. I, and um, anybody else who has a fantasy matchup, just be sure to send it to me and I will answer it. Answer and give my thoughts. But anyway, that was the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.